Hello and welcome back to Barefoot Games 101 where we're going to try and play Visage. Emphasis on the try. Um, okay, this is what's happened. So I've recorded two episodes and OBS screwed both of them massively up to the point where they were unusable. Um, I've had to restart the entire chapter. I've played up to where... I was at the end of the last video um, so that using my old videos as a sort of walkthrough guide so that hopefully I'm more or less in the same position there's a couple of mirrors that I didn't smash that go to puzzles I haven't solved yet but we're basically in the same position what my plan is here I'm gonna essentially recreate the episodes that failed to record and then when we catch up with where my actual save is, I'll switch back to that and we can carry on properly. But for now, let's get stuck in. Okay, so. In the lost episodes, I came down here. I reread the note that was on the chair because nothing seemed to have happened when I opened up all these windows. And it basically says, let's have a look at it. Uh, whirling in an everlasting dream, the two-sided moon, which is unders underscored, with clouded vision, again underscored, lies innocently by its guilty shadow, underscored. So I was like, right, okay, we've got the three things there that are clearly meant to stand out. The moon, the cloud of vision, and the guilty shadow. So, I had a look around, and I found that some of these corpses had pictures on. And if you look at them, it tells you what they are. Now, This isn't going to be a case of I know everything because my memory is awful. So there's the moon. I think this one was. That was an eye. The clouded vision. And then, what was this one? A shadow, right? So, I sussed out that basically it was those three that we need to illuminate. Mm -hmm. So, let's go and do that now. But yeah, I'll have forgotten most of the little things that I did, <laughs> to be honest, in the epi in the last episodes. So, it's not going to be a complete walk in the park for me. And it's not... I don't think we've made that much progress until we catch up to my actual save and we're back in unknown territory. But yeah, OBS has just been an absolute nightmare. The first episode I recorded, it just decided out of the blue, I hadn't changed anything, just decided no, I'm not going to record video anymore, only audio. So I came to edit an episode, a full episode, and it was like, yeah, no, just, just, just audio for you there. I was like, fuck. I really didn't want to play right through the whole thing again. So I tried to make, I fucked around with it and I thought I'd fixed it. And I tried to make another episode in which I apologised for the missing episode. And it seemed to be going okay and then when I came to edit that it was like the stutteriest, most awful video capture you've ever seen in your life. And I was like, oh my god, this is I can't use this. And on both occasions I'd saved over my save. So yeah, there's me learning from my mistakes, yeah. Anyway. So I spent an entire night last night messing around with it and I, th I think I've got it fixed now. episode will be the, the true test if you see this you know I've fixed it um,
But yeah, I had to play through the whole chapter again to get up to this point. Which was a bit of a pain, but you see the things I do for you, my viewers, so you don't miss out? One thing I have got that, that I didn't have in the original playthrough is upstairs in the study, in the desk, there was a key to the electricity room, which I haven't been in yet. But as you can see, I'll need to now. So I just picked that up out of the drawer. No major... Missing stuff there. Okay. Let's use the electricity room key. again. Awesome. Get all these lights on. Right, so what did I do now? Ah, that was it. When I was poking around, I found another mirror in here, I think. Yes. So let's do that. So, we can't get through that door can get inside the wall, which at the time I thought was an incredibly bad idea, but nonetheless, let's go for it. And that brings you to here. Turns out, if you crouch, you can get down there. Uh, need me lighter again. And that takes us through here, and we can get out. And this is the other side of this room. So, yay. I don't know if you noticed in my inventory as well, I also haven't hung the things back on the cart because they didn't seem to do anything, so I didn't bother doing it on the replay through. We'll be going back to the main save before we go and hang more stuff on there, so... Doesn't really matter. this cross we find there's a knife in Jesus thumbnail um, so 
we take that. And then I thought to myself, okay, what am I supposed to do with a knife? And then I remembered that in the last episode we found the corpse upstairs with a, a knife missing, didn't we? The kitchen told us he'd been stabbed seven times but there was only six knives in him and it said there was a knife missing when we examined him. So, I figured, well, that must be the knife that we need to put in there then. And so, I headed back upstairs to put the knife in him. This commentary of what I did, by the way, is as much for me as for you, because I'm trying to remember what I did. Because my memory is truly old. off with your mysterious hanging around. Fuck off with your mysterious radios as well. She was at the, the door the other, the other time I played through, fucking ringing the bell. And there's all these broken keys all over the floor, I've no idea what that's all about. Still feel slightly wrong doing this, but okay. It won't hurt, mate. It's it's just you know you're dead. It's all good. You. He dropped a key, which I forget where it's for. Oh, I know where it's for. So we take the key, and then I decided to just double check there was nothing else in this room of interest, and I noticed this interact here, and if we were to use the key that he just dropped, oh no, it's not locked. Oh, I can't remember where the I love you keys for then. Ah, this door. There we go. And then in here was this box. Uh, with... A cloud. And a cassette. Nice. I don't think there was anything in here of worth. No, just some more of those bags that you can't pick up. Hello? Hi. I was somewhat more disturbed when this happened for the first time. Oh my god, he didn't come in here last time. Fuck. Oh. Okay. 
Hey, first time he didn't come in here. I kind of backed around the corner a bit and he sort of disappeared out here. I didn't actually see him disappear. I panicked then. I thought I was going to get killed. <laughs> um, okay. So, let's go to this room here. I mean, screw it, let's put all the things on. Not that it's going to make any difference. Um, so I've got how many to get? Two. On the other save, I think I have one more. Not sure where that was from. Yes, yes, yes. I've used this before in the main save and how to use it. Uh, right then. Which is the new tape you guys haven't heard? It's going to be this one, isn't it? I fear that Dolores is getting worse by the day. Her temperaments are extremely bipolar. She gets easily upset over small things, almost always immediately followed by self-resentment and the asking for forgiveness. It's getting harder to cope with her outbursts, but my love for her is strong still. And I'll do whatever it takes to help her overcome her condition. Oh, oh, oh. I'm gonna be late for tea. Where did I put that damned attic hook? Okay, that's the one you've already heard. I do apologize. Um, let's get that back out. This one, which you haven't heard, hopefully. Dolores now has moments of severe psychosis. She loses contact with reality for long periods of time. She hardly remembers me anymore. She's lost her trust in me and it's becoming harder and harder to administer her treatments. She sometimes forgets where she is or even the fact that she has to wear clothes. She keeps on scratching her nails or banging her head on doors. She murmurs gibberish sentences and roams aimlessly around the house. The other day she even accused me of trying to poison her. I'm on the edge. I don't think I can take much more of this. How am I supposed to work, take care of the baby, and deal with her dementia all at the same time? So... You should now have heard all three cassettes. Let's just stick them in there for no reason whatsoever. I think that's all three. I think that's all the there might be space for one more there. Never mind. Right, um So Oh, I know where I got the other thing from that from. Right. So at this point, excuse me, oh, excuse me, I just had to sneeze. Um, so at this point, I was like, right, there's got to be a mirror that I've sort of failed to solve the puzzle on that is next. Is it making me look that way? Why is it making me look? Okay, that's odd. Um, there's got to be a mirror that I haven't solved the puzzle on yet. Um, so I began looking round for 
mirrors that I know there's a couple of mirrors that I've been through and I couldn't solve the puzzle so um, I also stumbled across this so we can interact with the vice and then do you remember that orb we got off the baby we can use that here but it was very temperamental about let me put it in but there we go so we use that there breaks the glass and lets us have this note which as you can see shows us some clocks uh, some candle sconces and some pictures and some windows that will become useful later Right then, so, as we're saying, wandered off and tried to do some mirrors. Now, I can't remember which mirror. Oh, yes, I can. Yes, I can. So, first one I tried was this one. Which, if you remember, is the game could not automatically save manually save if needed well that's probably a good idea excuse me while I save learn from my mistakes, I should have saved that over another save slot just in case this recording messed up. <sighs> Idiot boy. Right then. Anyway, if you remember, this was the room with all the paintings in. So I'm stood down here and I look at the back wall and clearly there should be three paintings there. I had no idea which ones. I tried a couple of random paintings to no success. Then I remembered. Upstairs in the room with the cot we could look through that peephole in the wall and there were some paintings and I'd like to tell you that we don't have to go back up there but we do because I completely forgot what paintings we need so let's go do that and yes I know we were just up there but so if we look through the peephole there so we've got a sort of head corroded head and head with a mask sort of head corroded head head with a mask so we need to put those on the wall down here Sort of head, corroded head, head with a mask. Where am I going? In here. Sort of head, corroded head, head with a mask. I think one of them's in this first corridor. Yes. the way it obscures your entire fucking view of things. Uh, I'm not sure if this is corroded head or sort of head, but let's just put it there for now. I think that's corroded head, isn't it? Um, head with a mask is here. Here. 
here. There was another mirror somewhere that I'd sort of been in and not finished. Couldn't remember for the life of me where it was until fucking Dolores showed up or wherever her name is and actually chased me into it, which was kind of handy. There she is at the door again. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not going to let you in. You can set off. Oh, that'll be the first comic that she sent, won't it? I've already got that in the main save. Right, okay. Um, so... I went back up here. Set off, I'm not letting you in, will And I put this... one to go. So as I say, I was kind of like, I can't remember where it is, and I'm wandering around, and then she decides to come out and chase me. Tell you what, the house is in much better shape in this playthrough, with lights all over the place. Mine's fucking terrifying, all the lights are broken and stuff. Anyway, she chased me. I ran into there, just to get away from it, and then I remembered, hey, this is the place where I haven't been. Um, and I do have a save on the main save in this room, and I don't think I have done the puzzle in here. But I'll do it on this save, screw it. Um, so what I do need, I know, is I need a candle in order to be able to do this. Is that a candle? No, that's some kitchen roll. Please leave the lights alone. I think I got one from the garage last time on my save. Whether there'll be one in the garage or not in this, I don't know. No, I had, see I had a candle there on the side. Full of them, but I don't think we any we can pick up. No.
I've had the room that the mirror started in is the one there. Candles are not hard to find. They're normally all over the friggin' place. So where does that go if it doesn't go into the... Oh, it's jammed, right, okay. That makes sense, I suppose. It should not be this hard to find a candle. found one in a second I'm just going to jump back to my original save because I've got one in that room and I know where I can get a candle. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to switch back to the save I've got in that puzzle room. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, <coughs> so this is back on sort of the main save. Um, I'm a little bit ahead of this, but this is I'm, I was working with two saves, so this is close. So what I did here is I looked at uh, this and oh come on look at it you idiot and it's got the clocks there so and it's got the pictures there and if you notice the pictures are rotated and it's got three windows two of which are open, one of which is closed, and it's got the three candle sconces at the top. The outside two are not lit, the middle one is. Right. So, I rotated the, the plates the way it says in the picture, I set the clocks the way it says in the picture, I opened the windows the way it said in the picture, and every time we did one of these things, I had like a click of, yeah, you're on the right track. So, you know, that's good. And then I went and got a candle. 
which apparently I can no longer pick up. Come on, there it is. Uh, and what I need to do now is, first of all, I need to get in the light, because look at me sanity. And I need to drop the hammer and get... Oh, you're kidding me. Okay, well, it seems I need to find the lighter. Right, okay. Okay then, um, let's, I mean, let's pick that back up then. So I don't want to lose my hammer, although I don't think I really need it much anymore, but I like to have it. Pick the candle up. Just say, just for safekeeping, can I get it on any of these sconces? Okay, I'm not sure what happened to the candle. There it is. Right, so it's on there. Okay, that's good enough for now. Take some pills. <laughs> and then I can get rid of that. Now let's go find the lighter. Um, let's try the room above the garage. See, look, all my lights are screwed and they don't turn on. Oh, great, I need to go see the lights are pretty fixed up. Well, I think that's worth doing because I don't have a lighter. In fact, I think that's what I did. for a lighter down here, since I'm here. Did that work? Yes, it did. Okay. Good. Right, any lighters here? No. Hey, there's a candle. Lighter. Yes, 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 yes. Come with me. Right, let's get back upstairs. Turn on lights as we go.
let's light that candle. I think the candle's in the wrong spot. But let's let get it lit and then at least we can see what we're doing. Whilst we move it. Um, let's take that out of my hand and pick up the candle. There we go, it clicked. Now, for a while I was quite obsessed with that coat hook being some sort of hidden switch, but no, it's not at all. Now we have a baby monitor. And basically this is where I'm up to. I'm back in completely unknown territory now with you. baby monitor is. And first of all, let's put that on there, because why not? So we've got one left to get. And now, let's try. Five. Zero. Three. So I know 50373 because she keeps writing it down everywhere. But exactly what I'm supposed to do with this information, I'm a little unsure. Is that another mirror behind there? I believe it is. Five, zero, 
Ah. Three. So the number is five, five o'clock. That could be that. Five. That. Zero. Quarter to eleven. Three. I'm going to go on the assumption that Five, I'm supposed to go zero, that way. Three, seven, so, three, if I'm right, one of these should be a zero. Five, Five to one, zero, foot past four, three, seven, midnight zero. Three, Oh my god. This is the trophy room. Made out of flesh. The house is made out of flesh. That's like the, the garage, the stairs here. Yes. This is the living Oh my god. Oh, this is not fun. God, where's my lighter? Oh. oh, I can't see a thing. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Gracias. I should follow that. Is that a lighter? Yes, thank you. Oh, it's going to the baby. Don't shut the door on me. Um. Oh, no. Going to give this baby to the woman, aren't I? Oh, no. I don't know if that's a good idea. Right, first of all, I need both hands, so let's drop that. There, where I know the room's going to exist later on. really going to give this baby to that creepy woman. Can I have a hammer back? We're going to do this. She's gone. He's fallen. That's the last toy I need.
that will be for the music note box behind me. Okay, that one. But before we unlock it, let's listen to this, what turns out to be the file tape, I think, because there's no more slots in the box for the, definitely not now. I now fear for the baby. She has become obsessed with him. She says she can always hear him cry over the baby monitor, even when it's off. She has trouble differentiating him from the dolls in the house. Once she threw a doll away, realizing it wasn't the baby. I am horrified at the idea that she might do the same to the baby, thinking she's holding a doll. I've got rid of all the dolls in the house, and now she keeps on calling him, never remembering where he is. I have to keep a constant eye on both of them. The only time I can get some work done is when she's sedated. <sighs> she probably killed the baby. I don't know. It feels like a nightmare. Do I think it was an increasingly bad idea to give the baby to her? I've still got this crank on. Oh, that's what's going to be in here, isn't it? Okay, so I've got the crank handle, I've got the record. Where is the record player? dimension. It was in the basement, wasn't it? Although, part of me thinks maybe I saw one in the attic. Let's get these lights on. Have a quick look in the attic since I'm here. And I've still got the hook. It normally takes stuff off you when you finish using them, doesn't it? Just have a quick look around. Still don't know what that's about. Okay, so nothing here. Check the basement, I suppose. I wonder, can I just why do you keep making me look at that light? jammed. 
probably walked right past it while I've been playing. Um, it's probably people watching this right now screaming at the screen going, it's friggin' there you idiot! Go to the basement. But in the flash house, it was the end. There is a room in the basement that I've never been able to enter. By the electric room, isn't there? So in the flash house it was through there. I'm thinking it might be in here. Because I've not been able to get in here, have I? Um, didn't think so. Didn't think so. Hmm. Like I said, he threw all the dolls away. I've not got any keys in here, have I? No. I wonder could I use the crowbar to get that open? Oh my god, I can see it. It's there. It's right there. This doesn't look like nightmare at all.
aircon. Thank you. 
dear. Oh, I'm in, I'm in that room. That should be the cot room at the other side. I don't think this is going to end badly. Okay, as far as I know, those are the only two chapters that are in this early access yet. However, yeah, however, I think I did see an update for this. And if that is the case, I will grab it and we'll have a look. But for now at least, that's Visage. I hope you enjoyed this extra long episode for Halloween. Um, and if 
you did please leave a like uh, subscribe if you're new here and all that good stuff let's just quickly go see the progress room we can see the trophies yeah this is a very cool game and I highly recommend you go pick it up because it's not expensive Well, what's it? What's it for, for in that? There's no one chasing me at the moment. I've just sold everything. And there we go. So I think I saw an update. So if there's another chapter, I will grab it and um, we'll have a look at that. But until then, thank you for watching, uh, have a happy Halloween, and I will see you all again soon with either more of this or something new. We shall see. Until then, be nice to each other, have fun, and goodbye.